With VIP 18 just around the corner, we have got to talk about all the ways that you can get VIP in Rise of Kingdoms. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and today we're going to hook you up with the secrets, the tips, the tricks to get tons of VIP. At least we're going to list out all the ways that we could find to get VIP in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, if you like Rise of Kingdoms guides designed to help you get value and smash your enemies, then smash that subscribe button for those daily Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. If we just get a quick look at the VIP I've accumulated, like, yeah, I've built up a lot of it, but that's because I spend kind of like a madman in this game. So regardless of whether or not you're spending, here is literally everything that we could find to get VIP and Rise of Kingdoms arranged from the least amount of effort to the most amount of effort. And of course, obviously, log in every day and claim 200 free VIP. Just do it. I'm sure you're already doing that. From there, the next easiest thing is to collect your Alliance gifts, baby. These rare gifts obviously can contain huge amounts of VIP. And if you're trying to get into an Alliance that maybe wouldn't let you in normally, you might be able to bribe one of the leaders with some resources. I'm not even kidding. Just say you'll send them some amount of gold every week if they'll let you into the alliance, and that could be a very beneficial exchange. Now, I will say, in a kingdom like 75, that's not going to work. In fact, in most hyper-competitive kingdoms, that probably won't work. Uh, but in your average kingdom, I bet you could get pretty far saying, hey, I'll give you a couple million gold, five million gold every week if you let me into that alliance, and that will probably be worth it to you for the amount of VIP that you'll pull down from these rare gifts that other people are buying. Now, without even spending a penny, there are, of course, ways that you can go and get VIP, and you actually can farm it. But this is a time-consuming process. You can get VIP from the Alliance shop. Now, we don't... Oh, we do have one stock that I put in here yesterday, actually, specifically to know how much it would cost. Uh, but it's 50,000 individual credits. That is a lot for 100 VIP. But... You could, theoretically, farm some amount of VIP by farming up individual credits. Now, in order to even have VIP in the shop, your alliance officers would need to go in and say, oh, here's the VIP, I'm going to place that in there. It's 15,000 alliance credits per in order to get that into the shop. But the way that you can get more of the individual credits is by selling a bunch of stuff that you don't actually need. So, for example, a lot of these gray patterns you almost certainly don't need. You can make some amount of individual credits back doing that. And obviously, you can see I've got a ton of these, and it's still not all that much. The other thing you can do to get a ton of individual credits is to join a one-troop flag. That's a really great strategy. I'll show you that in just a second. And obviously, selling off things like your purple stars, which you almost certainly don't need, uh, once you've maxed out all the epic commanders that you wanted to work on, is probably a pretty solid strategy as well. Of course, there's the green and blue stars, which are really easy to do too. So here's where our one troop flag normally is, but we finished it overnight, and um, uh, somebody tell the king we need to rebuild the flag. Am I king? No, I'm not the king right now. Okay, I'm good. We're good, baby. Now, the next very obvious way that you can get ridiculous amounts of VIP if you are spending in Rise of Kingdoms is, of course, buying bundles. And the most efficient value here for doing that is from the daily special offer for VIP. It's pretty spectacular. And now that they have the whole mega pack option, I mean, it is better than ever to be getting VIP and a legendary commander that you wanted to work on from the daily special offer. That's still, by the way, five bucks a day. And that is a lot of money to be spending in a mobile game. Um, I mean, I spend way more than that, but uh, I mean, you know, I spend more than that, but I'm talking like for perspective. I think that's a lot of money for a mobile game. So if you were spending your way to glory, then this would be the way to do it from the daily special offer. A lot of reasons why that's great. Um, of course, these are also in the super value bundles and you'll get a bunch of VIP here as well. There might be some optimizations around buying different tiers of the bundle, but I honestly have not done the math on that to figure out exactly whether or not that is worth it. One other thing you could buy your way into, which is actually a better choice than these super value bundles, and is actually even a better choice than the daily special offer, is going to be the Lucerne Scrolls. Lucerne Scrolls, for like five bucks, 
give a ton of really great stuff. I mean, ton of VIP in here, right? Seems like a really great way to go for the least amount of money possible to get some amount of VIP and gems, which brings us to the next topic, which is you can also use gems to go and upgrade your VIP level. Now, this gets really expensive. It's one gem per point of VIP, but... If you go and you spend those gems during a more than gems event, which shows up every couple months, that is a pretty sweet way to get something you wanted anyways, which is to up your VIP level and also get some rewards at the same time. So this is something I would recommend if you're very close to another level, you could consider, especially in the early game, dropping some gems to get to a critical threshold. I've talked about this in a number of videos, but there are breakpoints where that reward that you get every day really does jump up in value significantly, like VIP 10, also VIP 12 doubles the number of legendary commander sculptures you're getting every day. That sort of stuff makes a big difference, and if you're close to one of those thresholds, it's probably worth dropping the gems, especially if you can time that with a more than gems event. Wow. But the other thing that is important about gems is that you can actually farm gems on the map, and the game considers that so valuable that they don't give you a way to search for the gem nodes. You have to manually find the gem nodes on the map, then send your gatherers to them. It's honestly a very time-consuming process. Hello, gold node. I'm just going to take that real quick. It's a very time-consuming process to try to find the gem nodes. And if what you want is a detailed guide on how to farm gems, I actually have a video that's got a ton of views all about that topic card up in the top for how you can trade a ton of time or, I mean, an upwards of like, 3,000 gems a day. The last way to go and get a bunch of VIP is to actually go and explore the caves that are on the map. I had completely forgotten about this, but apparently caves, and you know, I've visited them all, I think, in this kingdom, but caves will give you a chest that can contain a small amount of VIP. Now, this is a lot of work, but you probably should go and do this anyways. I mean, Heck, have I even explored the whole kingdom? I wonder when I did this. I don't even remember doing this. Wow. I really did the entire kingdom here. No kidding. Cool. Well, definitely go if you want some free VIP and explore every single cave that's available to you because, yes, there is a chance you will get some VIP, and that may even be true in the Heroic Anthem version of KVK, which has more caves that you go and explore for crystals. And I think there's VIP in there. If I'm not mistaken, I think you can get VIP there too. At this moment in time, we're all eagerly awaiting the release of VIP 18. And for perhaps for posterity, I'll make some guesses now again that I've had a couple days to reflect on the fact that VIP 18 is coming very soon to guess what we might see. And here's what I expect we'll see. First of all, and I know this is a little bit lame, but I think the production boosts are going to go up. I think we'll see, what is it? It's 5% boost, just about, every single level. Maybe more, maybe less sometimes. I think we'll see another 5% production boost, which is fine. And I, I really do think there probably is going to be something combat-related in the next level of VIP. I hope there will be a healing cost reduction and a healing time reduction, and an action point limitation increase, that would be really nice. If we see a combat-related boost, I mean, they might boost normal attack damage, they might boost skill damage. God, what is it going to be? I never would have expected them to do training speed, but we see here, I mean, here's my guess. Action point limitation, healing cost reduction, and... 5% normal attack damage. I'm just going to go with it. And then they're going to boost the production stuff over here. That's my guess. Something that is economics related, something that is combat related, and, and you know, the production stuff too. We'll see. With regard to the VIP 18 exclusive chest, oh man. I mean, I hope they put more materials in there. That's what I really hope. 
I think they'll maybe put one more blue material. I think they're going to put another legendary head in there. And maybe, maybe they'll put a crystal key. And I think it's going to be a ton of VIP that you need, like one and a half million, some ridiculous amount of VIP to get to this next level, above and beyond what it took to get to 17. That's my guess. The special privilege chest might have some new equipment. That would be pretty interesting if there was like a set you got from here. I hope that's not the case though, kind of. I I might rather they just have some materials, you know? I think that's a little more of an even playing field. Kind of like what they did here, except honestly, I don't think you would pay the amount that you pay to get this. Like, I don't know if this is worth the amount of money. What was that, 100 bucks to get this? We'll evaluate that as soon as it lands. So subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a thing. We'll cover that and more as soon as the patch lands. And if you want to see my video detailing all of the stuff that was in this last patch and the new version of KVK that's on its way out, check the card up in the top. And I recognize that in a future date, this uh, those topics might be kind of lame. So how about this? Instead... Check out that video I mentioned earlier about farming gems. If you didn't know how to do that, ooh, that is a great way to get some value if you've got time to spend. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.